Friends and family, I ask that you please rise. I present to you the Fuqua School of Business, PhD, Daytime MBA, and Accelerated Daytime MBA classes of 2023.
Please be seated. Wow. It hasn't rocked like this in Cameron since the UNC game. 
So this is a special day. I am Bill Bolding. I'm the dean of the Fuqua School of Business. And I think every day at the Fuqua School is special. But today is an amazing day. It's a day where we get to celebrate the accomplishments of these soon-to-be graduates. Today, the spotlight is on all of you. And we're so proud of what you've accomplished. It's been a journey. It's been a journey with laughter, tears, hard work, fun. It's all been in there. And now we're at this moment. And I'm so happy that all of us can be here to celebrate with you. I'm so grateful for all the friends and family that are able to join us because you make this day more special with your presence. You're the secret sauce that helped all of, all of the people on the floor get to where they are today. I also like to especially call attention to our PhD students. They are small in number, but very mighty when you add up all the years that they've spent getting their degrees. <laughs> I also want to call attention to the faculty who've done so much to guide all of you on this journey. They're an amazing group, and they care deeply about your success. And so thank you to all of them. As well, I'd like to thank our amazing staff who've been with you every step of the way on this journey. But it's a journey that continues with a walk eventually across this stage. And so to keep things moving along, I would like to ask our MBAA co-presidents, Jen and Adi, to come forward. Thank you for that introduction, Dean Bolding, and good afternoon, everyone. For those whom I have not met yet, my name is Jennifer Seibel, and I have had the privilege and pleasure of serving this community in the student government, the MBA Association, as class co-president, alongside my friend and colleague, Addie Simant, whom you will hear from in a few minutes. So I'm going to kick this off by sharing how I feel right now and that is that I am so excited to be here. I'm excited to be here on the stage, here with my classmates, surrounded with our loved ones, professors, all surrounding us with love, pride, and joy. We're here at the end of such an epic journey. Today is the day to celebrate. And boy, have there been so many emotions happening over the past few weeks. So I'm going to take, I'm going to do my best and take these next couple minutes and try and take those emotions that have been pulsing through our hearts and maybe swirling through our minds. And as the newly minted MBA that I am, I'm going to put a bit of a framework to it and break them down into three buckets. So the first feeling is one of gratitude. Where is our section seven out there? Oh, come on, I heard you. Let's hear you, Section 7 class 2023. Let's give it up for Section 7, please. <laughs> so for those who might not know, Section 7 is the part of our community that is made up of our partners, spouses, our children. And by extension, our parents, our grandparents, our siblings, our cousins, our tias, our tios, aunties, uncles, all of you here in the bleachers, all of you with me here on stage, all of us watching online, you are our Section 7. So thank you. Thank you for supporting us these past two years. Thank you for being open and encouraging for us to take this time to work on ourselves and our personal growth. Thank you for your patience, for listening to our frustrations, and for pulling us out of this weird business vortex sometimes we find ourselves in. You all are truly the rocks that keep us grounded, so thank you. Next is this amazing feeling that is completely filling this stadium right now, and that is a feeling of accomplishment. For many of us, this has been a journey that started way before we stepped foot on campus, 
It was having the courage to take a two-year career hiatus, having the courage to tackle those MBA applications, many of us studying for standardized tests in subjects we haven't picked up since high school, submitting that application, and then dealing with that wait. But how amazing did it feel when we saw on our phone and it was that Durham area code and it was admissions on the other line saying, yes, you got in, yes, we'd love for you to be part of this community. That was a really good feeling. So fast forward, summer 2021, we all started arriving on campus and meeting each other, maybe throw in a few too many pool parties in the process. But we walked through those doors in Science Drive and we began our academic journey. We worked together, we traveled the world together. We shared our cultures with one another. We've helped our classmates build existing ventures Heck, we've started some of our own. I see Michelle right there in the second row. Molly Montgomery among our few other entrepreneurs. We've landed amazing jobs in some consequential organizations. We've published books, we've played in bands, we've helped each other grow and find new passions. And least we forget, we've definitely found time to celebrate along the way. We've restored the energy in this place post-COVID and left a consequential impact on this Fuqua community. And those are all accomplishments I hope you are proud of. And now, as we look to the future and what tomorrow brings, there's this feeling of anticipation. We're all about to start a new chapter and there is a ton of change coming our way. And it's hard. It's it's hard not to feel stressed, maybe a bit anxious, excited, intimidated. But as we all start those new chapters, I encourage you all, myself included, something I'm actually trying to do right now, is to be present, to feel and enjoy those moments because we have worked so hard to get there. And even more so, as we're on teams and growing, maybe our heads are down, sleeves are rolled up, we're pushing through, I ask you all, please, please, let's not forget each other. We're a team here, in these four walls, on this campus, and we will continue to be a team when we walk out those doors and disperse around the globe. Let's remember each other. As we're in jobs looking for maybe those VPs, marketing directors, operations, finance, or maybe we need a consulting partner to solve a problem. Or maybe we're ready to take that plunge and start that venture that's been soon in our minds for a while and we need a co-founding partner or team. Let's remember each other. These fantastic, intelligent, impactful individuals that you've met here today. So in conclusion, I have to say that I am very, very much looking forward to seeing and hearing about your future adventures, your successes, your learnings, and your accomplishments. I'm looking forward to investing in your companies and ventures and watching you all shine. So congratulations, class of 2023. Please don't be strangers. It's been an honor and privilege to serve you. Thank you. And now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, my close friend and co-president, Addie Simon. Thank you, Jen, for being the most awesome friend and co-president one could ask for. <laughs> That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. <laughs> Class of 2023. It is my utmost honor to be here and speaking today at our graduation. We all recently learned from the yearbook that I'm the one most affected by Fuqua Kool-Aid. So it's only fair that I get to say a few words from my journey. Wow, time really flies. Not so long ago, we were all scattered in different parts of the world, packing our bags and lives to embark on an extraordinary journey with 500 strangers, not knowing what life had in store for us. And now, just a minute later, 
we are again packing our bags and lives to embark on more extraordinary journeys with 500 friends and leaders of the future. This still feels like a dream to me. I distinctly remember the first day I came to Durham. I was anxious about whether I will fit in this community, whether I will make friends or not. As these thoughts were running through my mind, I got a hand upon my shoulder from someone who made me and many of us strangers instantly feel at home. And that first friend was Rohan. We miss you, brother. Keep smiling. In these last two years, we've learned about marketing, finance, accounting, operations, and all the other important business pillars of, uh, pillars of business. But more importantly, we've learned about ourselves. We've learned what we're capable of, and we have learned how to work with others to bring change to the society. We have learned that being successful isn't just about achieving our own goals, but about helping others achieve theirs as well. And that brings, brings me to my first message. Success is a team sport. We didn't get here on our own. We had the support of our classmates, our professors, and most importantly, our families out here tonight, today. My parents flew 8,000 miles across the globe to be here for graduation today. My mom paused her PhD when I was young so she could help me with, with my studies. My dad practically invented working from home so he could be, so he could be home and I, I didn't have to be home alone. They paused their dreams so I could achieve mine. And I know that many of you have people here supporting you through your journey, through your lives. So let's take a moment to give them a big round of applause. My second message is about the power of words. We are together in Cameron Basketball Stadium today, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention the greatest of all time, Coach K. I had the privilege of attending a few sessions with Coach K, and out of the many incredible stories that he has shared, one has really stuck with me. This story is from the 2001 Final Four game, when Duke was trailing by over 10 points with few minutes left on the clock. Coach shared how during the timeout, he could see his players losing confidence. And that's when Coach went to each of his players and said what he claims are the four most powerful words in English language. And those are, I believe in you. Duke pulled off a miracle, went on to win the national championship, and rest is history. But Coach's story makes one thing clear. Words, especially those, up, those that uplift and inspire, can have a profound impact on the people around us. We live in challenging times with great uncertainty, but I strongly believe that each and every one of us has the power to make a difference. Our class is very special as we beat some of the toughest odds to get into business school, as you might remember. At Fuqua, we have been equipped with the tools and knowledge to tackle some of the business world's most pressing problems, and we have each other to hold us accountable. We are ready to make our mark, to be the agents of change and champions of progress, true leaders of consequence. Lastly, to all of you out there, no matter if you have a strong plan for the future or if you are still trying to find your ground like I am, know that I believe in you. Class of 2023, it's been an honor walking alongside you in this journey. Let's go out and win the world. Let's go, Duke. And now, with a loud round of applause, please welcome the class-nominated speaker, Cynthia Loera. A few months ago, I was reminded by one of our classmates that to be at Fuqua, no matter where we come from, we have to have a level of privilege. Whether that privilege comes from wealth, race, gender, sexual orientation, citizenship, or opportunities afforded to us, each and every one of us has had a type of privilege to be able to access a university like Duke, and more specifically, Fuqua. 
His words served as a refreshing reminder not to judge a book by its cover, and furthermore, not to compare oneself to others, which as we know, is easier said than done, especially in an environment like business school, where everyone is recruiting, and comparison is hard to avoid. I'll be the first to admit that when I first arrived at Fuqua, I struggled not to compare myself to others. As a daughter of Mexican immigrants, whose first job was working in the cotton fields alongside my mother and brother, I felt very different than most of my classmates. As a matter of fact, except for maybe a handful of people, no one probably remembers me from orientation or summer session. I hid in the background as I adjusted to my new normal. It took me a while, but I eventually learned to cope with my imposter syndrome and began to share my experience in and out of the classroom. It was then that I realized that I was not alone and in fact, more people than not felt similarly. Moreover, it was through those conversations that I began to learn about my classmates. I loved learning about their families back home, and due to the diversity of Fuqua, their homes were all over the globe, including South Korea, India, Nigeria, Ukraine, Ecuador, Panama, Vietnam, Jamaica, and so many more beautiful countries. I enjoyed learning about their families, their parents' career trajectory, and their upbringing, admiring the differences and similarities in family dynamics, about their careers before Fuqua, ranging from being Green Berets to advocates in the nonprofit sector to working for Goldman Sachs, about their life goals to cure aging, to revolutionize dining out through Allergood, to help caregivers access resources easily, and so many more amazing goals. Learning about my classmates shifted the way I thought about business school. It helped me realize that the courses, although valuable, were not the transformational part of this experience. Rather, it is each and every one of my classmates, their diverse thoughts, and the challenging conversations that pushed me to rethink the way I show up in the world. Their willingness to give so much of themselves, even when they had so much on their plate already, helped me lean into my weaknesses and with their help, chip away at my imposter syndrome. Through those conversations, Fuqua affirmed that no matter where we come from or what walk of life we've had, we all have our own strengths and our own weaknesses. And it is when we share our strengths with one another that our weaknesses begin to strengthen. This affirmation is an opportunity I want to encourage you to embrace daily and apply to your careers as well. Share your strengths with those around you. Use your privilege to help others. And be just as open to accepting help. Let's move forward with the intent to make the world a better place through business. This affirmation only works, however, if we remember that comparison is a thief of joy. We're re-entering the workforce at an odd economic time. Remember that our first jobs out of business school don't and won't define us. In fact, it will be the second and third jobs that push us to lean on one another and begin to shape our careers into their full potential. It's then that we'll need each other more than ever. We won't have the comfort of the hollow flags to stop and chat during break or between classes, to complain about how hard recruiting is while simultaneously planning our next trip or buying tickets to the next party. It will be then that we wish these last two years hadn't flown by, that we had taken the chance to get to know some of our classmates better. Don't wait until then to reach out. If there's someone that comes to mind now, I encourage you to reach out to them sooner rather than later. Alas, our time at Fuqua has come and gone but we can find solace in the fact that the core memories we've created at Fuqua won't escape us. From Myrtle Beach to Outer Banks and everything in between, the memories we share have bonded us. And I, for one, can't wait to reminisce about Wine Around the World, Fuqua Vision, Fuqua Fridays, Tab Tuesdays, and the many treks we took together. Let's embrace the platform Fuqua has provided us. We're diving into this next chapter of our lives, equipped with a stamp of approval from Fuqua, eyes wide open, ready to take on what's ahead. 
As sad as it is to think of the fact that this chapter of our life is over, there's so much for us to look forward to, including our many reunions in New York, DC, Miami, Dallas, Chicago, LA, and anywhere else one of our fellow Fuquins will be living. I'm sure we will relish for an excuse to visit one another. Whether it be a birthday or a wedding, we will be ever present in each other's lives. I can say confidently that the bonds we've created at Fuqua have filled the hallways and our hearts with joy, a joy that won't fade easily. Before I wrap up, I'd like to wish every mother and mother figure with us today, both in person and in spirit, a happy Mother's Day weekend. You've all raised amazing human beings who I feel blessed to call my classmates. To echo Jen and Adi, if you're in this room with us today or watching along virtually, know that you share in this accomplishment. Without your support, many of us wouldn't be here today. Your weekly and for some daily phone calls were more helpful than we let on. Thank you for understanding when we didn't make it home for the holidays, for being the shoulder for us to lean on when recruiting wasn't going as expected, for letting us vent, and then giving us the necessary much needed pep talk. It is support systems like you that are necessary for success. And for those of us who lost someone in our support system, I know they're looking down on us, smiling on us, ear to ear, proud to see us achieve this accomplishment. To my mom, si se pudo, mi papá, queríamos norte a toparle. Lastly, to my wonderful classmates, Congratulations, class of 2023. I can't wait to see how, where our hard work takes us next. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Jen and Adi. I invite you now to join your classmates. Okay, so we will have every emotion today and that will certainly include some tears as I see people wiping tears off their, their faces and then their eyes. It just indicates the depth, the authenticity that I see in front of me that we can have those emotions. I'd like to change gears a little bit and recognize some faculty and staff Earlier this week, we gave out awards both to students and to faculty and staff. And I'd like to call attention to our faculty teaching award winners, the winner of the award for innovation and teaching in a core course is Mohan Venkatachalam, Dr. V. And the winner of the innovation and teaching award in an elective class is John de Figueredo. <laughs> Lastly, Megan Pollard received the Students' Choice Staff Award. Congratulations to Megan. I now have the pleasure of introducing our graduation speaker. Choosing a graduation speaker is no easy thing. You need to find someone who has significant accomplishment as all of you sitting in the audience are looking at the stage and saying, is there a role model that will get me to where that person has gone? So you need someone of significant accomplishment who's had a meaningful impact in the world of business. 
You need someone who's acquired wisdom. So not just success, but someone who you trust will have wisdom and insight to share as you begin your journey post Fuqua. And of course, we really would like to have someone who does things the right way, who embraces the values of Team Fuqua, who embodies the IQ, EQ, and DQ that we saw in each and every one of you, and shows you that being a decent human being is actually a winning path. And if we're lucky, this is someone with a Duke connection. Today, I'm so happy that we have Mark Royce joining us. Mark certainly has a career of incredible accomplishment. He's the president of General Motors. He is leading an electrifying transformation, literally, of a company that was one of the most important iconic companies in the world and now is transforming to be, again, one of the most important companies in the world. It is no easy task, but Mark is very much up to that task. He's someone who always does things the right way, who consistently looks to bring out the best from others, who absolutely values the people around him and in so doing inspires and motivates them to do more than they thought they could. He absolutely embodies the values of Team Fuqua, perhaps unsurprisingly, because he's one of you. As a graduate from 1990. And so he does have that Duke connection. And I am confident that he has the wisdom and the insight that in addition to being an incredible human being, he has incredible insight because we've been lucky enough to have him on our board for the last eight years and Mark has become one of the most trusted advisors for the school. And so without further ado, I invite Mark Royce to the podium. Well, good afternoon. I can't tell you um, how happy I am to be here uh, in front of you and to have you um, allow me to share some of your day. This is truly, I'm just, it's, it's a wonderful experience, once in a lifetime for me. And so thank you, Dean Bolding. I'm thrilled on this landmark day by congratulating you, the class of 2023, for everything you've worked so hard to achieve. Congratulations. You know, uh, I think it, it is remarkable for me to be up here today for many reasons, not the least of which is 33 years ago, as Dean Bowling said, um, at this event, I was sitting right where you are, wondering what was next for me, and wondering what would be on the menu at the post-ceremony reception. <laughs> so think about that. Another reason it's a remarkable day for me is that among the graduates today is my son, Grant. I'm incredibly proud of Grant and what he's accomplished, and I'm incredibly honored to be asked to speak at his graduation because, again, it is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I could go on, but I'll stop here because I don't want to embarrass him, although I suspect it's way too late for that already. So sorry about that, man. I'm also not going to embarrass him or bore you by going on and on about my time here at Fuqua. I don't think anyone is dying to hear the details of a case study we did about the long-term retail market viability of the cordless home telephone. I don't think so. A lot has changed around here since those days, but not everything. I told my son he could go wherever he wanted to go to grad school, but the Duke has something no others have, and that's Team Fuqua. The sense of teamwork and camaraderie was so prominent here was when I was in school and remains a strong priority of daily life today, as you know. I know this uh, because of Grant's experience, and I also 
know this because of my time on the Fuqua Board of Visitors. In the 90s, and likely to some extent today, although I'm not positive, a lot of business schools recruited students knowing that half of them wouldn't make it to the second year, not Duke. Fuqua remains committed to building a solid, diverse, outstanding student body and to teaching them the value of teamwork, innovation, and changing people's lives for the better. That's what B-School and business is all about, right? I think a lot of what I'm describing is due to the influence of another constant at Fuqua since I was a student here, and that's Dean Bill Bolding. Bill was on the faculty when I studied here, and he's been a huge asset to the school ever since. As dean, he has helped to restore financial stability, promote academic growth, and foster the spread of innovation within the school and ultimately beyond. I think we owe him a big debt of gratitude for all he has done for Fuqua and its students, faculty, and staff. So please join me in saying thank you, Dean Boldy. You know, creating the environment for the development of innovation that I just mentioned has long been a hallmark of Fuqua and Duke University. And that's a credit not only to Bill, but also to his predecessors and a long list of faculty and administrators at this school. We have fostered and created innovation across the board in finance, operations, marketing, consulting, you name it, Fuqua has made it better. That's something you will take with you from here for a long, long time. Always innovate, never stop learning. Seek opportunities for personal and professional growth because they're out there. As you pursue them, don't be afraid of a challenge. You're uniquely prepared to handle more than you think, thanks to this institution and the hard work that you have put in here. Speaking of challenges and innovation, I'd remiss that I didn't suggest the auto industry is a viable and exciting career path. So just a plug for that, okay? Don't forget, our business is not the Rust Belt world of old manufacturing that some people think it is. It's a high-tech, high-stakes world now, one that is accelerating the world's transformation to electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles. The first job of more than 25% of Fuqua graduates is in tech and we are hiring a tremendous amount of people in tech more every year. We do a lot more software these days than we do shocks and struts, but we still do those too. We're reinventing ourselves on the fly, and I am thankful that I had my experience at Duke Fuqua to draw upon to help reinvent the company from a leadership standpoint. The bottom line is that our business is changing rapidly, daily, and it's exciting to be part of it and help make the world a better place at the same time. Just as you should always be learning, always be helping, always be giving. We have an obligation to make the world and leave it a better place, our children and our grandchildren than when we did when we found it. I believe that's one of the major responsibilities we have in business. And I believe that because it's a value that's instilled right here at Duke Fuqua. The school, the school taught us, just as it taught you, to do what is right. That's the kind of school it is. That's the kind of place it is. And it's not always easy to do the right thing, as you know. It's not always easy to recognize the voice of conscience and listen to it. And we all have a conscience. That's what makes us human. Animals don't have that. Dogs don't feel bad when they steal our food off the countertop. They feel great, right? <laughs> and we all find ourselves in tough situations occasionally, and there might be an easy way out, but it's usually not the right way out. If the right thing to do and the easy thing to do are the same thing, then it's not a tough situation. You don't learn from that. You learn when doing the right thing, especially when it's difficult and when no one's looking. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? I think you'll find the most rewarding path is the path that makes this world better 
the path that improves people's lives and the path that helps others. And you've been doing a great head start down that path by studying right here at Fuqua at Duke. I know that one of the most rewarding things we've done in recent years at General Motors was during the first months of the pandemic. We converted a factory in Indiana into making ventilators, together with a company called Ventec, at lightning speed with incredible agility. Once we got to full speed, we were building a new ventilator every seven minutes. We made 30,000 ventilators in 154 days. The workers who converted that facility, the engineers who put the assembly lines together, the supply chain experts who sourced all those parts, the people who actually assembled the ventilators, all in the early throes of a lockdown. They will all tell you, each one of them, that it's among the most rewarding things they've ever done in their careers or their lives. They worked every day with laser-focused purpose, urgency, and speed. They literally saved lives. It's hard to find any silver linings that came out of that horrifying year or the years that followed. But if there's one, it's that projects like that one and so many others help business go from being considered part of the problem to being seen as part of the solution. It's a golden opportunity for business right now to continue that. People saw business step up to help however and whenever it could, and they saw business adapt quickly to a world where everything about work changed seemingly overnight, as we all know. You know who else adapted to that quickly and really unbelievably to that situation? You. You have completed the entirety of your B-School experience in a global pandemic. There is no case study for that, no playbook. By getting to this point, you have proven that you are flexible, resilient, determined, and able to rise to meet any challenge. For this, I congratulate you, because this resilience will carry you and bolster you throughout your careers and your lives. What kind of uncertainty will scare you now? You'll definitely encounter it. It's not a perfect world you're about to enter or re-enter. You'll find economic stress, supply chain constraints, inflation, bank failures, war, natural disasters, and all kinds of calamity to be named later. But you're ready for anything now. You know how to hit the curveball. You're resilient, you're prepared, and I hope you remember exactly how well Duke Fuqua helped you get to this place and, more importantly, to where you're going from here. I encourage you to give back, help others, mentor young people, make the world better. You're certainly all well-equipped to do so. Most of all, today, I congratulate you again and I look forward to see what you do going from here. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to be part of your day, and I'm so excited for you. You've worked so hard for what you've got. Congratulations, and Godspeed. Thank you. All of you know that we believe that business can and should be a force for good in the world. I'd like to thank Mark for bringing that idea to life, that it's not just a theory, it's something that you can do. So Mark, thank you for setting that example, and thank you for showing our students what it means to be a leader of consequence. If I could, on behalf of the entire community, I would like to give you a small token of our appreciation. Okay, we're now going to transition to recognition of the graduates. So if I could ask Steve Mizoraka to step up.
So before I get into the script and recognize our Fuqua scholars, I, I have to do it. Chen, Addy, Cynthia, that was, that was special. First time I've ever seen a standing ovation. So let's, let's give them one more round. It gives me great pleasure to recognize the Fuqua scholars for the daytime and AMBA class of 2023. Fuqua scholars are those students whose cumulative grade point average places them in the top 10% of the graduating class. We acknowledge this distinction in your program. Fuqua scholars, hopefully you know who you are, please stand up and be recognized. It also gives me great pleasure to recognize the incredible group of second year award winners who were recognized this Thursday at a very memorable finale in Janine Auditorium. We've also designated these award winners in your program. Second year award winners, please stand and be recognized. So now the fun part. Bill and Mark, would you please step forward to congratulate these amazing students? At this time, I would like to ask Debu Perowit, Senior Associate Dean for Faculty and Ford Motor Company Professor of Business Administration to read the names of our graduating PhD students. Apparently, that was not covered in the PhD program. <laughs> so I'm going to read out the names of the PhD students. The, their dissertation titles are in the program, and I'm not going to read those out. Shivan Faknin Fromoyevich. Minjun Chan. <laughs> Sophie Yu. <laughs> Yuan Guo. <laughs> Xu Yan Wang. <laughs> Eric He. Shinge Liu. <laughs> Taha Asin. <laughs> and Prabhava Upadrashta. Thank you, Debu. Now I'd like to ask Madeline Hoy Perez, Associate Director of Student Life, and Sherry Hubert, Associate Dean for Admissions, to please come forward and read the names of our graduating MBA students. Jennifer Marie Seibel. Aditya Samant. <laughs> Cynthia Josefina Loera. <laughs> uh, 
Alia Huda Abdul Samad. Neil Hamdan Abu Spitan. Oscar Alarcón Gutierrez. Maria Paloma Alarco Rodriguez Larraine. Daniel Stephen Arbach. Sebo Avedian. Catherine Elizabeth Anktil. Sonali Argade. Ragovi Ananda. Amaya Aguirre Arcelis. Michelle Addison. Joshua Stephen Alfonso. Ankur Ahoja. Mitchell Taylor Atchison. Kathleen Axelrod. Anna Christine Bartz. Inbal Mayan. Sandra Gonzalez Gutierrez. Joseph Leland Banlow III. Patrick Frankoviak Bryant. Catherine Cullen Barnes. Travis Mercott Beach. Natalie Zoe Behan. Jenna Amin Mohammed Balu. Christine Francis Burias. Billy Martin Kenny Bevan. Jacqueline Browning. Clayton Richard Brzezinski. Alfonso Barajas. Rita Shakur. Castor Baracharji. Drish Bahirwani. Shreyas Chandra Shikhar. Siddharth Agarwal. Nishant Boba Baradwaj. Erica Chow Leon. Magna Bathula. Catherine Audrey Winston Butler Dines.
James Richard Berry. Elena Chavez Nunez. Adriana Josefina Vaquero Degwitz. Emma Breihaupt. Yusef Riyad Al Qatari. Alejandro Castro. Kevin Clark Calanzani. Megan Christine Carter Stone. Sophia Andrea Shapiro Vasquez. Elizabeth Eleanor Ayub. Sarah Gavin Ashmore. Emily Jean Burntson. Courtney Page Chaplin. Nicholas Chavez Diaz. Ernesto Almoncin Yamamoto. Jill Hung Bui. Adam Bin Abdul Malik. Zachary Nishan Baharosian. Bryant Bryce Bowman. Frank Michael Bolella. Chris Eugene Brazier Jr. William Whitelaw Barnes. Reed William Bratton. Barzan Berdebikov. Sujin Jang. Aziz Abdupatayev. Erica C. Charles. Alexandra Lee Brown. Patricia Elena Sequeira Mendoza. Casio Bergamo de Campos. Eric Campos Francisco. Sagan Akilu. Richard Asiedu Akrofi. Ayotoyo Stephen Ajuya. Similola Olawanifeme Adina. Yeah. 
Sophie Arite. Monique Owen Obehi Alofoje. Alexandria Amarachi Amumbo. Aredayo Olumide Arisonia. Chen Abiserde Akodo Chang Lei Chen Jeremy Sandoval Chen Wei Ren Chen. <laughs> Renisha Christian. <laughs> Kush Gakhar. <laughs> Katong Crawford. Changjie Gao. <laughs> Kaxi Chen. <laughs> Yuji Du. <laughs> Ray Chen. Lynn Duo <laughs> Kathy Hu Chung <laughs> Matthew Alexander Clemens <laughs> Timothy Richard Duty. Gina El Catan Alexander James Easton J1 Choi Tracy Danby Chun Danielle Kaur. <laughs> Olivia Canetta. <laughs> Margaret Mulheron Crawford. <laughs> Hermano Luciano Crubilati. Ryan Carter Crosley Clemens. Jack Walter Dimbowski. Paul Benning Davis IV. Juan Manuel Gavidia. Zachary William Gilbert. Christian Patrick Kramer. Michael Manuel John Foster Jr. Ethan Charles Foreman. Mark Howard Dryden. Yeah. 
Maya Helene Dennis. Hannah Chesney. Maximo Garcia Ruiz. Neil Dixit. Joseph Nicholas Corsaro. And Rita Gill. Kira Fitzgerald Givens. Antonio Manuel Cruz. Brian Mark Galuski. Anis Fadil Sharif. William Hunter Diamond. Enrique Diaz. Aditya Gopa Kumar. Kastab Kamlesh Desai. Abinaba Dam. Carolyn Duffett. Emily Ann Kane Corey. Peter George. Dhruv Damia. Arka Ghosh. Akanksha Dalal. Vineet Gianchandani. Driti Dutta. Orma Shane Eisan. Adeze Chioma Egonu. Morgan Ann Cohen. Caroline Marie Davidson. Catherine Goodwin Dimitrovich. John Stephen Clark III. Margaret Fay Edmonds. Tatiana Dasso. Belinda Chang. Chase Reed Corville. Andrew David Fisher. Shivani Kamlesh Doshi. Seku Diara. Woo! 
Wu Hian Chang. Ronnie H. Geva. Jenny Alexandra Cam Cameron Graham. Marilyn Gund. Anisha Vijay Jambikar. Monique Kelmanson. Daniel Yar Khan. Ashwashan Joshi. Benjamin Lawton Kessler. Candice Yueyi Hu. Eliza Jane Johnson. Catherine Humphreys. Eleanor Jane Knudsen. Catherine Claire Haynes. Allison Lane Kaselniak. Haiyan Huang. Elizabeth Dasam Jang. Joseph Jang. Puya Javadi. Danielle Renee Horseman. Robert James Custer. Melanie Jean. William Jung. Aaron John Hager. Andres Jimenez. Julian Gielig. Lauren Michelle Kelly Kane. Tyler Jordan Platt. Andrew Ryan Knapp. Pax Jordan Kaplan Sherman. Trevor John Gordon Heal. Austin Lee Jasper. Harry Patterson Kroll. Hyun Man Kim. Christina Kim. C. Ray Kim. Sejal Jane. Z. 
Zia Tahir Oglu Kazimov. Courtney Molly Kaplan. Kevin Joseph Kuhn. Andrew James Hoffman. Michael Christopher Jones. Robert Haynes Hill. Tyler Marie Kendrick. Derek Prince Jelani Haynes. Demontrez Johnson. Rodnisha A. Griffin. Jerlicia Henderson. Gideon T. Haddis. Katie E. Hinkfus. Pooja Kulkarni. Jamie Marie Henry White. Emily Catherine Herman. Yuri Kurinari. Wanda Juita. Arshia Kana. Nupur Ja. Archena Kulkarni. Sakar Kurana. Samach Gupta. Sarosha Imtiaz. Louis Han. James Atkin Bates Jones. Trevor Mark Johnson. Bernardo Puri Kulea. Te Sheng Su. Sung Hun James Kim. Andrew Thomas Jacobs. Adam Isliamov. Ivan Kudinov. Piyush Gupta. Jia Tong Han. Brian Johnson. Samuel James Keeney. Grant Kirkpatrick. Yeah. 
Kelly Chucking Ho. Wu Mi Han. Roberto Hardison. Andrew Mark Granholm. Samantha Jill Nerona. Maria Valentina Lauria. Camila Mendina Mora Perez. Jasmine Hoy. Jin Liu. <laughs> Chun Hong Liu. <laughs> Shannon Lee. <laughs> Gitika Lakotia. <laughs> John Avery Lanius. Nicholas Landa. Virginia Noel Leilani Lehman. Sam Luptick. Sebastian Marcos Lee. Alicia Lightborn. <laughs> Ricardo Lemeroy Sanchez. <laughs> Selwyn Brent Elliott Lawrence. <laughs> Anna Lori. Joseph Liskovitz. JC Han Lee. Marston Stephen Morty. Flavio Merelius Caparello. Juan Jose Martens. Luigi Marquez. Horace William Miller V. Vincent Lee. Sung Jun Lee. Kevin Lightold. Thomas Luberis. <laughs> Joy Scott Newfeld. <laughs> Francis William Luby. <laughs> Elizabeth Marie McBain. Angela Nicole Minnick. Mary Golden Montgomery. Natalie Carlisle Lambert. Alexandria Mulligan. Michelle Woke.
Geraldine. Lucas Fernando Lovato. <laughs> Kelly McKeon McCarthy. <laughs> Stephen Fred McCarthy. <laughs> Joel Unsworth Martinez. Marcy Lee Matankoski. Rushmi Harshamut. Leah Zuge Murphy. Thomas Elliott McNellan. Anna Cecilia Mejia Michelo. Brian Busan Nguyen. Nicole Lee Meany. Alejandra Manzur Husband. Carla Andrea Martinez Luna. Joshua David Nifong. Aaron Abdul Mustafa Muhammad. Maria Lumanova. Devika Mathur. Lucas Metropolis. Siamak Nariman. Huang Kao Nguyen. Brian Alexander Narcisse. So Lee. Yingqing Liao. Tianying Sophie Lee. Iksu O. Nikita Oja. Vindulu Petnikar. Pretush Pasbola. Ankit Chukla. Michael O'Sullivan. Krishna Aditya Yashavi Pillory. Mark Rosario Raposado. Stanley Lessie. Yeah. Janaya Brianna Oluwa. Yeah. Oluwale. Oluwale. Yeah. Abedeme Wokuya. Yeah. Nicholas Alexander Olindo. Maureen Inkiru Ojuku. Thierbat Parier. Christy Schur. Kyle Benjamin Ritter. Ryson Ellis Porter. Ha 
Holly Maxwell O'Hare. Victoria Towns Key Rose Hayden. Lauren Paley. Amartzing Pengalia. Siraj Putel. Nathan Price. Caroline Marie Perkinson. Chinar Sonal Raul. Ashlyn Lorraine Polenko. J. Stephen Procupic. Brandon Quinn. Matthew Dawson Chang. Hunter Grace Rooney. John David Ramsey. Graham Stillman Reeser. Samuel Paul Rieger. Grant Royce. Alexander Roberts. William Grant Seitz. Sammy Timothy Raman. Charles Adam Schaefernoff. <laughs> Philip Sharp Schnorbach. <laughs> Ekene de Lichu Ku Okonkwo Agolu. <laughs> Shivangi Shori. Bomek Balmakor Shah. Hardik Chef. Emily Connor Riggs. Ishani Kiran Purohut. Dagnata Prasad. Vilam Pastavoit. Javier Pastor. Jeremy Dwayne Sampson. Garrett Livingston Rigby. Marco Tulio Sandoval Lopez. Maurice Rios. Karen Assis Rufino. Bruna Betelago Rodriguez Lechi. <laughs> Ana Carolina Pereira Cardosa Oliveira. <laughs> Wei Shi. <laughs> Ar
I am a repeat. Bruno Marquez Palon Papa. Tiago Vandal de Souza e Silva. Miriam Ayomide Sanuzi. Allison Park. Jose Eduardo Cumarejo. Chetra Ramasami Del Duraje. Del Duraj. Del Duraj. Chetra Ramasami Del Duraj. Dev Raju. April Pradhan. Carolyn Francis Ross. Lily Beth Schoen. Virginia Aaron Rogers. Zayed Chayan Salah. Kira Russell. Mateo Alejandro Saenz Inahosa. <laughs> Nupur Jayindra Patel. <laughs> Shruti Pende. <laughs> Maytap Kaur Sahota. Juan Gabriel Santiago Santiago. Michael Timothy Short. Stephen Eric Smith. Andre Sutton. Kristen Baskerville Sutton. Hassan Rashid Smalls Pinto. Norisa Sutorala. Michelle Sullivan. Ryoto Suchia. Marcia Maylene Souza Pinto. Katie Nicole Tak. Morene Christine Valente. Roger Albert Sweet. Isabel Post Sperry. Emily Rachel Snow. Sophie Delmont Epstein Teague. Madison Page Tiance. Willa Townsend. Lauren Mary Wall. Jacqueline Mary Smith. Joe Seals. Allison Thomas Delatello. Jin Zhang.
Hebe Winslow. William Signorelli the third. Ching Chia. Catherine Edwards, Edwards Titus. Diego Silva Prieto. <laughs> Giacomo Viteri. Simon Uribe Mejia. Diego Valasante. Mara Borma. Kyle Smith. Mike Yu. Luamata on the Gloa. Taylor Tubbs O'Hara. Shannon Tantibat. Sherman Willem. Vanessa Ray Bargo. Brandon Von Kannerwerf. Sophia Ding. Masu Telebi. Aspen Nicole Walker. Karis Van de Poy. Maria Jose Vasquez Larkin. Vivek Vinkadwagan. Megan Eileen Waldrip. Shuniti Shunibatsu. Jana Kuule Ukulani Soli. Connie Wang. Nicholas Scott Balbi. Karina Wixon. Thomas Edward Wood. Cole Vanden Bygart. Justin Donovan White. Samantha Park Williams. Abigail McKinty Williams. <laughs> Best Ekena Uchara. <laughs> Andrew Neil Singh Suri. <laughs> Grace Yao. <laughs> Haran Chin. Vishweshwar Vivek. Doris Zhang. Sophie Tung. Michael Yang.
Mika Yoshimura. Yishin Song. Chao Shu. Sarah Wu Chin. Bing Wen Wang. Ao Ying Zhang. Eduardo Zapia. Daniel Yu. Andrew Michael Zimmerman. Brooke Alexander Eurer. Hannah Elise Zick. We would love to recognize one more member of the Fuqua Daytime MBA class of 2023. At this time, I would like to invite his parents, Ajiv and Somia, to accept their son's diploma as I call his name. Rohan Rajiv. Could I ask that the students please stand? You are now lifelong students, but you are officially graduates of the Fuqua School of Business. Congratulations. I'm going, to, I'm going to ask that the graduates stay standing for a few minutes. Uh, everyone else, if you can please stay seated. First of all, for everyone in the audience today, thank you so much for joining us. It's been an incredible day, and to have you here to celebrate the graduates is just an incredible thing, so thank you so much. I'm going to say a few words to them. It's my last chance before they head out around the world to different places. After I finish speaking, we'll recess off the platform, the students will recess out, and then all of us can join together in the Fox Center to continue the celebration. So, graduates, first of all, thank you. Every graduating class wants to know what makes us special. And you know what makes you special. You've heard it from your classmates already. You came here when the pandemic was something that was still terrifying, still led to incredible uncertainty, and you took a chance on each other and on Fuqua at a moment when you could easily run and hide. And you chose to move forward. Not only did you move forward, 
but you brought life back into the Fuqua community. You brought Team Fuqua back to life, and for that, I will be eternally grateful. Now, when a class asks what makes us special, I figured out over time that that's not really what they want to know. What they really want to know is, are we your favorites of all time? <laughs> and the answer is absolutely yes. <laughs> you are my favorite graduating students of all time. Recognize that next year I hope to say exactly the same thing and that you should want that as this place gets better and better with every passing year. What I can say is that this class experienced something that we've never seen before with the rankings. So you may not know this, or maybe you do, but in the US News ranking, we were tied with Columbia, which was number one in the Global Financial Times ranking. And in the Financial Times ranking, we were tied with Chicago, which was number one in the US News ranking. <laughs> By the law of transitivity, <laughs> you are the first class to ever experience two number ones. So now I have some requests of you. As you become alums, those requests will come fast and furious. First request is show the gratitude. The spotlight is on all of you. You want to engage with each other and celebrate with each other, but take the time to show gratitude to the people who are not in your class who got you here. It took so many people to get you into this position today Please thank them profusely, thank them often, and if they're not here, get in touch with them immediately to thank them. That is so important to show gratitude to the people who meant so much and mean so much in your lives. The second thing is, please stay in touch with us. Don't become strangers. As you think about what the Fuqua community means, what the Duke community means, and how they give back to the experience of a current student, we want you to be those people who give back, who give back to the people who follow you such that they too can experience the warmth, the intelligence, the decency of the Fuqua community. Please stay in touch. Third thing's already been asked of you. And when you heard it, you probably said, yeah, this is obvious we're going to do this, which is please stay in touch with each other. And you're thinking, of course we're going to stay in touch. These are people I am bonded with for life. I went through an incredible experience with these people. I will never forget them. They will be a part of my life forevermore. And let me tell you, do the work to make that happen. Because as you leave here and you go to different places around the world, you'll find that life happens at a very fast pace. It'll be very easy for you to say, I'm going to get in touch with, with my few classmates next week, because this week I'm really slammed. And then it's a month, and then it's six months, a year, five years, 10 years. Don't let that happen. Make it a priority to stay in touch with one another. And then there's two other requests that I have of you. All of you have heard me say that by the numbers, Fuqua is one of the most selective business schools in the world. It is in the handful of schools, just quantitatively, in terms of the difficulty of being accepted here. And of course, for us, it's more than just the numbers. It's qualitatively that we chose you all because of your combination of IQ, EQ, and DQ. We saw that in you. And so here's the request. 
Don't just be satisfied that you got in and now you finished. That is not enough. Now is when the work begins. And so two things that I ask of you that I think are your responsibility now that you are alumni of this great school. Number one, pursue happiness. A few of you may even remember that when I spoke to you at orientation, I said, make it your goal to pursue happiness. Some of you took that quite seriously and thought that I meant have a lot of parties. <laughs> but you know that's not what I meant. What I meant was pursue happiness in the sense that Aristotle described happiness, true happiness, which is making full use of your talents along the lines of excellence. Please pursue excellence for the rest of your lives. Demand the most of yourselves and the people around you so that you can experience true happiness. And finally, I'm sure you can predict this one, which is never, ever lose the decency that you need to achieve greatness and make a difference in the world. Thank you all so much.